The name is Shane Carpenter. As one of Mantle's most elite soldiers, I was trained to handle anything, if built to fight the good fight. That's what I thought until the day I broke away from Mantle. Their lies, their nectar. That day, I changed sides. Today I am reborn. Now it's time to set things right. My name is Shane Carpenter. I was born into a world of war. I was born into a world where unless someone makes things right, they'll never be right. I was born in 2023. Feeling good, buddy? You look psyched, hell, you look so good, I wish I was you. It's gonna be a fun day. We're on guard at the top of the world today. There's views there that would put your imagination to shame. Come on, man, we're late. Later than, uh, I can't think of nothing, man, but we're super late, come on. Sir, is it a good transfer? You look pretty beat last night, but we're gonna get you fixed up and ready to move, buddy. Don't you worry. Thanks, sir. Sir, buddy, we're both sergeants. You don't have to call me anything but my name. I'm Morgan Deval. This is Corporal Pesci. Hi there, sir. Lance Corporal Tear. Good morning, sir. And we call this one Watch Trap. <laughs> they say that because I'm skinny, see? <laughs> like a watch trap, sir. You're pack slipping, sir. Let me give you a hand. Hope you like that track as much as I did. I'm sending big love to my homies rocking it on the front line. Just to let you know that we're all rooting for you, and we're looking forward to seeing the boys back from the Boa region real soon. Crazy stuff happening out there in Boa. Ethnic cleansing, skinning people. It's crazy. Crazy. Nothing we can't handle. Heads up, my boys. It's that time again. <laughs> Jewelry is better than coffee and a slap in the face. I am so ready to liberate some natives. Hell yeah! Boosh! Boys. Hey, Sergeant Coppendale, what's up? Me and my crew here were rolling with you today. You got me, you got Gilroy, and you got Wood. <laughs> got Wood? Corporal Wood, sir. I've heard all the jokes. 
We are ready to get saddled, sir. We're on the observatory today. The sun is shining, and it's a great day to open a six-pack of... Check it out! Five, six, seven. Abandon observatory guard duty. Scramble to crash site ASAP. ASAP. All right, that's us. Scramble. We need to get to the crash site and get those pilots. And back that nectar shipment. Everybody, mount up and move out. The party's coming with us, boys. Let me see those eyes, soldier. You've been getting your meds. Uh, I'm, I'm fine. You crazy son of a bitch. You're trying to get us all killed? I'm fine. Morgan, I, I think he's okay. You're okay, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Look at me. You're not fine. You're not on this dropship, and you're not on this mission. Go park your ass in your bunk. I'll deal with this when we get back. Dumb bastard. Take her up! You're lucky I've got your back, Carpenter. You don't want a liability in the field. Believe me, buddy. Up and at him! Raven Alpha Track Trace Route. Raven Beta Track Through Copy. ETA 0300. It's a good day for a medal! You feeling right just today, boys? Sir, yes, sir! Boosh! Yep, we're open for business! What? No beer? <laughs> There's no poison in my tea! Sir! It's coming! Woo! Yeah, damn! Yes, sir! A toast to freeing some hearts and minds. To freeing this country that the Lord forgot about. While he's away, let's go do his housekeeping. To, to hearts and minds! minds. Hell yeah! To hearts and brains! Boom! We're coming! Listen, buddy, you know how it is. I don't mean to sound hard on tear, but I need to keep my guys safe so we can do our job. I want to keep you safe, too. I want us all sitting around the table for Thanksgiving, proud of what we did for these people. Uh, okay. Base one, this is 555 Actual. I've got a man on deck left behind. He's missed his man. Please take care of him. I got the answer Hold on! Damn! Sorry, sir, I can't get you any closer to the crash site. It's way too hot. Set us down. We'll march it. He was talking to me. Take us down. Push on up! We'll take the high road! See you at the crash site, buddy! Move this thing now! Let's go, go, go! Let's go! I got you covered, buddy! Move on up! Satellite says you're coming up on a valley packed full of bad guys. Give me a minute to clear them out. Great. This is 555 Actual. Multiple hostile contact. I need a bird on the half mile basin 80 yards north of my position. Pronto. Copy that, Triple Five. The burn is inbound. Come down, boy.
Commander, get down and into the trees. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> hey, Carpenter, you'll find things a whole lot easier with a dose of nectar in your blood. Hit yourself up, buddy! Great, I feel like a million dollars. Senses are crazy sharp. Go down there, buddy, or you'll run out of cliche. By the way, if you haven't already, you've got to try sniping on Nectar. Shooting fish in a barrel doesn't even come to the top. Long enough for us to get to the crash site? If I were you, I'd be more worried about the cargo. Either way, we need to speed this up. Copy that. What's up, buddy? You guys okay? We're fine. You sure? Yeah. Why? That screaming. Just an animal. Just an animal. Yeah, I, I heard you. How far are we from the site? Not far. Push up. We'll see you there. Then we can get some chow. Looks like you opened a can on these guys. They stole our nectar, man, so what's the point? Oh, they got away with the nectar. Still, you might as well check on the pilot. I'm here. Hey. Hey. I'm here. Are you hurt? Look at me. Can you see me? Yeah. Yeah, I see you. Do you know what I used to do? Before I joined up. Don't worry about that. You can tell me later. I, I, was, I was a boxer. Semi pro. I, uh, 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 uh. Os mato, hijos de puta! Oh. Another one. I'm ministering. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Dude, we knock these asses down like Skittles. 45 1 actual requesting evac ASAP. Copy that, 45 1. ETA four minutes. Just make sure there's a calm spot for touchdown. Okay, guys, let's clear the area. Clear the area? Looks pretty clear to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you getting newbie nerves, man? Da Hostile! Clear him out! Oh, yeah. Hostile, You did good. Time to go. We're waiting for you at the cliff by the cockpit. And that's how we do it! Oosh. Like taking candy from a cripple baby. I was all like, like pow, 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 yeah! And we did all that and we were a guy short. Man, I'm gonna kick Tia's ass when we get back. Yeah, kick his ass! I got some real nice picks, sir. Real capers. Sticking them straight up on the side. 
Did you see the pilot? I can't believe those little rats got away with our nectar. I said, did you see the pilot? He looked healthy. I heard you the first time, buddy. Let me run this by you. Say you're in the field and you've got two men injured. If you leave them both, they'll both die. So you could save one, but the other would still die. What do you do? You save one, right? Of course. You prioritize. Now you're asking me about something that was not a priority. So no, I wasn't looking. We went there so our men could get their meds. But those rats, those goddamn rats got away with our meds. And we need to settle the score. And their time will come. Picture's up! What's for dinner? Same as yesterday. Shit cakes and elbow grease. That explains your breath, man. What in the hell? Looks like someone's been throwing grenades on the damn deck. What happened here? Not sure, sir. Uh, everyone was down deck at the time. We're waiting for official word. He doesn't need to. The general sent us here. That's his message. But I'd still love to hear him say it. Go suck some balls, skin coat. Yeah! Yeah, wait till we get our hands on him. We'll fucking show him what our fucking people think about skinny people and fucking eating people. Yeah! Report to dropship for immediate dust off. Squads 441 through 676. That's us! This way! Sending heavy armed squads. We just have to secure the area. That's all we need to know. Who's sending the signal? What are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? New orders for you guys. Surveillance just spotted that skin coat guy at a cover plant northeast of here. I'm dropping you south of the hot zone. You're going down to gag him and bag him. Kidnap that fucked up asshole! I don't want his fucking coat on me! Yeah, careful he doesn't get Stockholm Syndrome, Pesci. You calling me a fag? Don't call him a fag, sir! Yeah! Just remember what I said about prioritizing, buddy. What about it? Do you love anyone? A woman? Your mommy? Parents, yeah. You hate anyone? Why do you ask? Because everything you feel, all these emotions, like love, hate, joy, misery, all of it, they're just a series of chemical compounds and electrical impulses in your brain. Nothing more. So when you fought that bully kid for that girl you liked at high school, or whatever your story, you weren't doing it for some higher purpose. You were doing it because some chemicals were fizzing around your skull. That's it. You're an ape, a monkey, doing whatever those chemicals tell you to do. And once you accept that, you can take control of yourself instead. And prioritize? Yes, but you won't be prioritizing based on how you feel about things anymore. You'll be doing it based on how things actually are. If you've got two men dying, save the one with the bigger gun, not the one you like hanging out with. All I'm saying is, when you step off this dropship, Keep a grip on reality, buddy. Don't be one of them. Don't be an ape. Sir, you're not gonna believe this. Skin coat is down there! We know he's down there! 
down there, idiot! No, sir! I mean, he's there! Right underneath us! I'm coming down now! That's him! That's Skinko! Chase him down! I'll cut him off of the plant! trying to free you people no one steals our mats go buy yourself a listen up we've got skin coat cornered in there and i don't know about you boys but i'm in the mood for a medal roll hard baby go 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 come on man we've got ass kicking to do Stormed this place a few weeks back. All we found were empty hands. Empty hands? Why do I teach you boys? An, An empty hand is just a grip away from holding a gun. So? You gotta take them down before they can pick it up. Boosh! Chill out, buddy. this way. You go that way. I suppose I'd better not speak then. Shut up! Was that you, commanding officer? Shut up! He's a sergeant. A sergeant? Like you? Hmm. Sounds like he's taking charge to me. This is a strange place, war. 
Somewhere where we take orders from people, we wouldn't give the time of day to in the real world. Shut up or you lose your teeth, skin coat! <laughs> Is there propaganda that sweet? That you gasset it down without a second thought? What have you heard? That I eat people? That I wear the skins as a coat? You like it? 100% cotton. Do you know what an army's most powerful weapon is? Bullets. Confidence. The confidence of its soldiers. If your warriors don't have confidence in their cause, why would they pull the triggers to shoot their bullets? And so they feed you stories about your enemies to make you hate them, to give you the confidence to shoot them, to make you believe that you are a hero. What are you saying? My friend, there are two sides to every war. Are you sure you're on the right one? Elevator. Hold its arms. Good work, buddy. Oh, man. This is gonna be bad for you. You speak American? Now, I admit, I don't always live by the principles of our Lord God. But you know what? He does have some good ideas. Eye for an eye. You ever hear that before? It means if you take something from me, then I have a right to take something from you. You took my meds, my nectar. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna take your finger. Oh! Eye for an eye. Nobody takes my nectar. Souvenir. Jesus Christ. Take him to the dropship. We're ready for dust off. Bring her in, evac point one. Get something? You should run. They know you're not like them. Carpenter, get aboard now. That's an order. I know your kind. You know, people like you are pacifists between wars. It's like being a vegetarian between meals. So when it comes to eating some steak, you don't know how the fuck to do it. But not me. I'm a carnivore. A real meat eater. Don't be one of the apes, buddy. Apes are animals. And animals are just food to me. Let's get the fuck out of here! Looks like we need to drop off a prisoner and a pussy. Here, puss, puss, puss! Pussy! You know, sir, what you said about an eye for an eye, it's true. But I think skin coat here took a whole lot more than just one finger's worth. Yeah! Oh, well how much do you think he took? Maybe a couple of hands worth. Yeah, he owes us two hands. Well, all right then. <laughs> Typical. What are you gonna do? Huh? Shoot me? Motherfucker! Ah! What's going on back there? Oh, fuck! HQ. I don't know if you can hear this, but our dropship is down. I'm stranded in the swamp plan somewhere. I've lost my weapon. Repeat, I am unarmed. I, 
I think there might be a problem with my Nectar Administrator. Do you copy? This is HQ. Triple Five's dropship just fell off the map. Mobilize a clear up squad 23 Hello? 23. Can you hear me? Copy. Damn. It's busted. Copy that. Fan out and sweet. Keep an eye out for Carpenter. We're having some problems triggering his Nectar Administrator. Duval! Morgan, are you out there? Pesci! Watch strap! Hello! I'm Morgan Duval. Lance Corporal Tear. Near pack slipping, sir. Let me give you a hand. Let me see those eyes, soldier. You've been getting your meds. Morgan, I, I think he's okay. You're okay, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Might be a distress signal. Who's sending the signal? Near pack slipping, sir. Let me give you a hand. My friend, there are two sides to every war. Are you sure you're on the right one? We're going this way. You go that way. This is Sergeant Shane Carpenter. Come in base. Something's happening to me. Can anyone read this? <laughs> HQ, we have a visual on the crash site. No sign of anyone. Unit 2 is hooking into the black box. Understood. Hello? Hello, do you copy? This is Carpenter. I'm here. Do, do you read me? HQ, our clear-up squad is on the ground. Copy that. No sign of him, sir. But it looks like his Nectar Administrator was damaged in the crash. He must be going into withdrawal by now. It shouldn't be hard to find him. Copy that. Carpenter is a code haze. Terminate with extreme prejudice. Damn spotlights. Well, you ain't gonna find me. Shane Carpenter! I was sent to help you! Follow me! Are... Are you real? You'd better hope so. Come on! I don't understand. Just follow me! HQ, we've picked up a trail. Closing in. All right, we have a visual. It's Carpenter. All units, switch to frequency Bravo. He could be listening. Here he is! We will be here soon. Contact, Alpha-1, do you have visual? Lost the shot. I have visual confirmation of target. He's standing down Alpha there. leader, do you have visual? He's heading for the bridge. you can hide. Follow me. The Reno wants to protect you. Come on! Down here!
Stay silent. They could still hear us. Clear. Clear. This way. This way. This way. Otro. Otro más. Mira, ya son muchos. Sí, ya son muchos. Ya no sé qué hacer. Tengo que decirle a Merino. Estoy muy preocupado. No me gusta nada. A mí tampoco. Debemos hablar con él. Sí, yo le digo. Es, pero es muy peligroso. Ten cuidado. Ten mucho cuidado. Let me carry him. This is not a place of suffering. It's happening to me. You're regaining your humanity. Don't talk, just listen. If we make our body need something, our body will punish us when we try and take it away. We don't fully understand it, but the drug they give you protects your mind from seeing the things you do. It keeps your view of the world neat and tidy no matter how much you mess it up. Your body has come to need it, so now it is punishing you. In the copper plant, in the elevator, you did something that I have not seen one of your soldiers do before. You sympathized. You're different. Rest now. When you're ready, maybe we will find out why. Thank you. Outside, they're asking questions about you. What kind of questions? Are you a bad man? What did you tell them? Do you think you can stand? I think so. Walk with me. We recovered as many of you people as we could. We are holding them at our village church. You and I were fortunate. Some did not survive the crash. People here say that I should not offer you my condolences because of what you soldiers are doing to us. But I know that the world is more complicated than anger and resentment would have us believe. What did you do before all this? I was at college. Uh, I, I just left college. I'd never even held a gun. And yet you joined? Yeah. It was the radio, the TV, internet. They make it so easy to get bad news. And there was so much of it. Then one afternoon I got to wondering What's the point of being aware of the world like that if you're not going to do something about it? I felt guilty. You wanted to be a hero. Yeah. 
but I, I knew I couldn't leave it to fate. I saw commercials for Mantel on the TV, reports, good people doing good things in bad places, making the effort to be in the right place at the right time. All I had to do was follow orders and I'd be doing good. I'd be a hero. That opportunity has not passed you by. But until now, you have let someone else tell you what's right and what's wrong. You let someone sell you on their morality. But the moral battle is inside. When you do someone else's bidding, act by someone else's moral code, it is still you who has to answer for your actions when the important time comes. When is the important time? We feel guilt, remorse, not just out of empathy, but out of fear. It's a fear that there is someone who knows, and that one day you'll have to explain yourself to them. My friend, we say that there is a map inside everyone that will lead them to the right place. Follow it. So, when your time comes, you won't be left in need of an excuse. Motherfucking apes! Take cover! You motherfucking apes! You're meat! We were unable to remove the drug administrators from your people. Those are not my people. Good, because it's just you and me against them. I knew it. The second I laid eyes on you, buddy, you're not a carnivore. You're meat, just like them. Look at you. You're an ant under my magnifying glass, a pig under my carving knife. But a good piece of meat needs to be hung first. It needs to bleed out before it's ready to be eaten. So bleed out! Mira! Tenemos que entrar adentro! ¡Vuelvan! conmigo! ¡Meat! Target down! Sir! Wait for us! Clean up this area, then head back to base! You're gonna get medals for this, boys! Get the guns! You're fucking dead, sir! You're dead! Watch, Strap, Pesci, you have to stop this! I don't think they're our enemy! Well, if you think that, then you're the enemy, motherfucker! Yeah! I'm gonna cut you for that, son. Motherfucker! You got him! Well, you ain't gonna get me! You scared little man! You should be! You ain't gonna kill me, traitor! Shit! Uh, 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 it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Uh, it's gonna be okay. 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 I'm a traitor. But to what? What reason did your superiors give you for being here? Ethnic cleansing. Um, crimes against humanity. Which ethnicity is being cleansed? I... I, 
I don't know. What crimes against humanity? Before Mantel arrived here, we didn't even have an army to speak of. Yes, you are a traitor. But now you're on the right side. You can fight with confidence. But if you're not doing anything bad, why did Mantel send us here? That's what we need to find out. My name is Gabriel Merino. Shane Carpenter. Can you come down here, please? We found the location for that distress signal. We are on our way. We got it. We tracked the signal to somewhere on the Gambo South Beach. I want you to take a squad down there. We think whoever is sending the signal is one of yours. Okay, I'll take a look. Shane, come on! This chopper will fly you to the Gambo South Beach! <laughs> if you have it down, then perhaps finding the source of the signal is the best way to address them. It's all right. I I'm, I'm not with Mantel anymore. I... I changed my mind. I'm with you guys now. What's your name? Gabriel. These guys aren't exactly being forthcoming with me. Is there anything you could do? Do they speak English? Shane, Robin's heart is great for your change of heart. But please, do not forget your indiscretion from the past. I assure you, these men will come. Yes? They speak English, but in some step, they start. Where exactly are we going? The distress signal comes from somewhere on the camp of South Beach. I'm confused. I can't see any beach here. Mattel may already be stationed on the beach. In case the mining is too dangerous, take the track. We're getting close to the source of the distress signal. Shane, listen. It is of the utmost importance that whatever happens in there, whatever you see, make sure... I know this guy. Dear. Uh, are you okay? I was hoping you'd come. I need you to see something. You remember when I helped you with your gear in the elevator? What about it? I turned your neck to gauge down a notch or two so you could see a little... Slice of reality, sir. Get ready for a big dose. Who are these people? Who? This is Sergeant Nick Cote. This is Lance Corporal Tom Rampton. And in one of those crates back there is my first drill instructor. These are all mantle soldiers. And there's not a single bullet wound amongst them. What happened to them? Chemical weapons? No. This, this war we've been fighting? There is no guerrilla uprising here. No ethnic cleansing. Listen, did you ever see the mantle soldiers dressed in black? Those are special forces. They only call them in on black ops. The real top secret stuff. 
I kept an ear on the radio down here, monitoring. You know all the special forces have been spending their days? Burning plants. There's some kind of plant in this area, something rare they use to make nectar. It's all about money. Fucking profit margins. They're burning plants so no one else can synthesize nectar. Us grunts are down here taking over the country so Mantle Incorporated can corner the pharmaceuticals market. No wonder the rebels have been fighting us tooth and nail. We have no right to be here. What happened to these soldiers? Think about it. All dead, no wounds. The one thing they all had in common, that we all have in common, is nectar. A performance enhancer, antidepressant, whatever you want to call it. It killed them. Someone put these soldiers in here so we wouldn't question what Nectar does to us. So we wouldn't lose confidence in our cause. But why hasn't it killed the rest of us? Maybe it will. How can we stop the drug? I don't know. It's controlled remotely from somewhere. It needs somewhere on high ground. The observatory. Gabrielle? Marino, do you copy? I copy. Get your people ready to move on the observatory in the north of the Boa Valley. That's the high point. The observatory, of course. Radio me when you get out of there, and I'll come and get you. Take the shot. <coughs> Listen to me, Carpenter. When you have all the information, it's easy to make the right decision.
the last gun. Is there another route to the observatory? We can take the bridge! 
Let's go! Hold on, Shane. We need to give them a few minutes for repairs. Almost ready, sir. But there's a problem. The axle is cracked. We need to walk across with it. Shane, we must protect this missile. It's all we have left to use against the Mantel land carrier. This is gonna be dangerous. To this side, we don't stand a chance. They won't get to the side. Shane, the struts on the bridge won't stand an explosion if they all go up at once. Understood. Go! It won't be long before they send more. Yeah. Now we've done some real damage. They're gonna get serious. Then you need to get to the observatory. You coming with me? My people need me with them. Ow! <sighs> you okay? Ow! It's my hand. I haven't had time to notice how it feels. 
it hurts. I'll find him. Sir, this road will take you up to the observatory. You can take my vehicle. down instead. Yeah, I got it. How did you know? The Mantel troopers here are acting strange. Very strange. We've got a helicopter en route to you, but you need to take out the automatic AA guns first. I'm on it. did something bad. Excuse me. Did I do something bad? I did something bad. I did something bad. Oh god, I did something bad. I threw her in the fire. I threw her in the fire. I did something bad. Sir! Sir! Sir, you, you're hurt! Sir! 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 I'm sorry.
I remember when we were each other's neighbors, each other's friends, each other's family. Since this crisis began, we have been forced to change, to mutate. Now, my neighbors have become my army. I dream of having a child who will ask me, Father, what was war? But while we are an army, that cannot happen. And so, tonight we must fight, or we can never again be neighbors, friends, family. We will fight, and we will kill, so we can be an army no more! Without their chemical, they are defenseless. Are you ready to finish them, my friend? Yeah, but, you know, they're defenseless. Yes, they are weak. And finally we can strike at their heart. My army is ready. They're off nectar now. They won't attack anymore anyway. A drunk who murders is still a murderer when he's sober in the morning. Every one of those soldiers is some mother's son. Then their mother should be ashamed! Shane, listen to me. I have told you only one of many hundreds of stories that all end with one of my people dying. Tonight will be a tiny taste of retribution. Just enough natural justice to sustain us. So please, help me reclaim my land. Help my army. All right. If we kill tonight, what will we be in the morning? We will be free. Sir, I'm... I'm frightened. My friend, that feeling, fear, it is just chemicals in your brain. It is an animal instinct. Don't listen to it, and you will find courage. Come on, Shane, let's go!
intel have sent in the cleaners. Yes. There are special forces on this end, too. Be careful. I'm sure you're on their hit list. Where are you? I think I'm getting close to the nav room. I'll keep you posted. I'm inside the nav room. Good. How are you going to turn off the defense grid? Is there a switch somewhere? Ah, uh, I wish. No, there are four servers in here. If I can overload each of them in turn, that should be enough to do it. Good luck. Get up into the bridge and stop them myself. Their time has come. We need to move! Sergeant, hold up on the bridge. Units Alpha and Delta, clear them out. Rifles at 12 o'clock! I can't have a for apples! I won't be rubbed out! I'm not a stick! I'm Morgan fucking Duval! And I'm the most purposeful mother you'll ever see! In 
Where do you think you're taking this thing? All these fucking animals were too chicken shit to take control of themselves. So now I'm the captain. And I can go wherever the fuck I want! You're not going anywhere! Just... just stop! It's too late for you to come back to my family. You killed my boys! You're not on Nectar now. You, you don't have to be crazy anymore. You can be normal. What's crazy? How about I train to fight for a cause? I forge a bond with my fellow soldiers, swear to follow orders, but then betray them and kill my friends on a whim. How about that? That sounds pretty crazy to me. I never did anything but try to protect you. But you take one knock on the head, and suddenly the world's wrong and you're right. Normality, buddy, is purely statistical. If 99 out of 100 people act one way, that's normal. It's majority rule. So you're the abnormal one, buddy! You are! There's only two of us here now. So which one of us is normal? Whichever one of us survives. <laughs> Fuck you. You're insane! You're the one who killed the people who rescued you from the trap! They didn't rescue us! They captured us! And they brainwashed you! Understand who skin coat is. There is no skin coat. Mantel made it up.
Well done, my friend. A hero is always welcome in my country. I guess destroying that land carrier was the safest thing to do. Shame we couldn't use it ourselves. True. But that machine wasn't the best resource Mantel had at their disposal. What do you mean? Positivity, optimism, they're powerful tools in making a country a better, happier place. Don't you think that if the drug can put my people into that frame of mind, it is not such a bad thing? Here it was just uh, mismanaged. I would combine it with free will. What? <laughs> you worry too much, my friend. A sword in the wrong hands is always dangerous. Mantel were the wrong hands, that's all. They were just animals. Ha 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 ha!